What the hell? Oh, okay, so we're back to Mystical Ninja. Let's see. What do you guys say? Oh, this is Oteo Town. This is where the real Edo people live. Okay, we already know that, though. Alright, so let's... Now that we're through the uh, whole introduction of this town, let's actually make some progress now. And there's, I think, Atomic Stick Guy. Yeah, we'll get to meet him again real soon. Alright. What do you gotta say, bud? I've come to climb Mount Fuji. The officer told me I could get there by going around the corner. Yeah, we already know that. What do you guys say? I worry. I worry so... I worry. When something worries you like this, it's the best thing to do is go see a fortune teller. With a plasma power, your worries will fade away. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's get the hell moving. And this is the first main area of the game, guys. I guess you could call it an overworld section. But this place is pretty damn easy. Which it should be. I mean, <clears throat> when has the first area ever been hard in the game? Ah, damn it. Of course, I'm already getting smacked upside the face, but... Things you just should uh, know what the enemies drop. They will either drop dumplings, or either drop coins for you. I don't think they'll drop anything else, really. But keep that in mind, if you need any help, you can always smack somebody upside the face. We got a nice little coffee shop, but we want to talk to this guy. Hey you, you're a traveler. How would you like a map of Japan to assist you on your voyage? I'll sell it to her for a discount. How about it? Hell yeah, give me that thing. Awesome, I like the way you said that. The enthusiasm. I like people like you. So here, you can have it, no charge. Alright, we'll call this a present to you. And we received the map of... Japan for free. Sweet. I wish more people were like that. Or more shops. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Okay, so we got... So, when we get outside, we can take a look at it. Have you heard of based on the dancer called Impact? Apparently now he's a big star in the U.S. Next he's gonna be in a movie. He was the mall of the American dream. Yep. Yeah, oh, why the hell did I just get on my fucking stomach? Oh, wait. I maybe should tell you guys about that. Recently, there's been some mechanical robots appearing all over the place, attacking travelers in their path. You should be careful yourself. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Got any coffee? How about some of our stamina dumplings? At 30 Rio, you can get your motor running. No thanks, I'm kinda poor. Are you sure? Well, come again when you're hungry. Well, thanks for offering, but you're kinda poor, I told you. Alright, so... So far... Alright, probably want to show the map. And probably that screen, too. Okay, damn, this place looks really n big. Let's see what we got here. Holy crap. Holy shit, that pl that's pretty m huge considering how much time we're moving around. This is the pause screen. I could, uh, lets you see what items you get and what item important items, which would probably be in the down right. And then it will have all your characters assembled in the those four boxes there with the magic and all that good stuff. So... Uh, we'll learn, we'll, we'll see it change from time to time as we pause the game. But right now, let's probably kick some ass. <coughs> uh, by just, uh, doing just that. And I think I'm going the wrong way, so let's head the other direction. Maybe get somewhere, okay. Damn, enemies are fucking all over the place, excuse me. <coughs> Alright, so this first area isn't too bad. I mean, it... As you can see, the enemies are kind of retarded, and they just run into you or fly in your direction. But they're going to get a little bit smarter. See these little guys holding presents? They have sh bullets shooting out of them, so be wary of that. And we're going to make a quick detour. Just so we can get something nice. Where's you have to fuck around with these assholes. <laughs> Alright, but uh, yeah, the, your main weapon... Oh wow, good job, buddy. Your main means of attacking is... Can you stop sliding down, idiot? Please, thank you. Main means of attacking is you buy a pipe or a hammer, and... Um... It's a pretty basic weapon. The problem is that the range sucks, usually. You have to be in enemy's face, and by that time, you can they can probably run into you. Uh, but we will be getting better weapons. And this does have decent recovery, if, which you might want to be concerned about in the future once you get better weapons. Because some weapons like to keep you still for about an hour. Or not an hour, but enough to, so that someone might bump into you if you miss. 
the biggest mountain, Mount Fuji, and we can't fucking look at this awesome mountain? Okay. Ah. There we go. Now I understand. If you hold R, you can change the camera. Which is nice, because we might be needing it here, considering that there is going to be some platformer elements, and God forbid, you, a camera needs to be your best friend here. Oh crap, Brock almost fell on my head. Excuse me. Alright, excuse me. Well yeah, this place shouldn't be too bad, but you want to jump over here real quick, because there's something important over here. Oh, damn it. What the hell? Alright, another Silver Fortune doll, and uh... Something to tell you about the Silver Fortune Dolls, guys. They're kind of like, um, heart pieces if you played a lot of Zelda. Yeah, so if you collect four of those, we'll extend our heart meter by one, which is pretty nice. Something I would like to do a lot of, but we. This would make the game a little bit easier, so I'm not going to be going too much out of my way to get them. Like, say for instance, if they're not on the way, then I'm not going to care so much. Alright, so far so good with the whole progressing, though. And of course, these guys are in their little bullets are being ass. Oh crap, platforming up more, platforming element. Oh, just jumped off there. Also, something to know about jumping or falling from great heights since we are pretty high up. I won't have to slowly climb my ass down. Oh, no. Aw, oh, damn it, I lost my fucking sombrero that quickly. Shit. Am oh, it was worth a shot, and we'll, I guess we'll explain something about the uh, high heights later. Ah, damn it! Fuck! Get away! Shit! All right. Uh oh. Gotta get through over this bridge real quick. This is probably the hardest part of this area. Damn bridges that like to frickin' throw your ass off. You want to stay right in front of the uh, s slinky guys, because apparently they had to make an arc enough. Or arc high enough to pass over your head, which is kind of nice. Oh god, I almost got flattened by a rock again. Fuck you. Alright, let's see. Don't worry, we'll be using Ibisumaro pretty soon, but he... This is Goemon's quest, sort of. Alright, let's see what we got here. For you. Alright, so let's see. We're near the top of this mountain, so there shouldn't be too much more to do, thankfully. Yeah, I mean, if you start seeing white or snow in, in this case, but... Which is kind of weird, since this is a volcano in a way, but let's... Okay, what's over here? Is that a fucking house there? Okay, we'll just enter this strangely placed house. You must be a Mo Mokubi. Come on, buddy. Say something to us. Wow, I'm impressed that you made it this far. What do you want from me? What are you doing here? I have come to earn the to the greatest mountain in Japan, so I can train to become the greatest worker in Japan. Okay. Is there anything else that you can say, buddy? Yeah, blah blah blah. Ah, damn it! Press the A button too fast. Don't fall victim to that, guys. You have a good pipe. Pipe. Let me think. Well, let's see. Yes! I know! Take this! I'm honored to hand you my pipe. It attaches to the block with a star mark. Hmm, I wonder if that's gonna be used very soon. Possibly get into a Dio castle. Well, there's only one way to find out. By going back there. And while this is a bit tedious, it'll be very useful. And now, this is where I'll explain the idea of how gravity affects our characters. Oh my god, this should be die now, should I? Nope, not really. Even if you, even that, if I landed on that slope, if I land from a high distance, you'll be fine. Absolutely fine. This thing about gravity in this game, it doesn't seem to hurt our characters if we fall from like 200 feet in the air. So I kind of wish I had their ability, because damn heights are pretty damn scary to me. Alright, so let's head back to this area, and we got this nice chain pipe. As you can see, it definitely has fucking range, but there's a drawback. Recovery sucks. It takes me, like, a, almost a full second to get back to moving around. So, you might want to switch from item to item, depending on the situation. Because, uh, the 
The chain pipe definitely has range, but it won't be the fastest atta way of attacking if you need to wail on something. See, look, that guy was. See, I missed that guy, and he fucking just ripped me a new one. And this person just decides to bump into me, too, little punks. Alright, so. <clears throat> so we should be. We'll head back to, um, Odeo Town. So, and, so just to. Be in a, or just to get it out ahead of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time we should get to find a way to Dio Castle and uh, make some more progress in this game. So have a great day and adios. Nice. Oh. Damn it, stop greeting me, everybody. I'm trying to get fucking home. I know it's, you're happy to see me, but shit. <laughs>